And in this week's Wild Welder Weather, it's all about Helene's impacts as they continue to be felt in the hardest hit areas of western North Carolina. Now, even though we're a week removed from that landfall, the Asheville and surrounding mountain uh, communities are trying to pick up the pieces following the devastating flooding experience from Helene. In this type of terrain, it's not just the hurricane you have to worry about. You need to watch the upslope flow into the mountains, which can generate significantly higher rainfall rates and major flooding. This is what happened along the upslope of the, of the Appalachia. Some two to three feet of rain fell in a short span of a few days, sending rivers to record levels and catching people off guard. The storm's death toll is now over 100, making it uh, the deadliest storm in the United States since Katrina. Residents are now trying to pick up the pieces, but a long road lies ahead. Only about 2% of homeowners in the hardest hit 100 counties hit by Helene have actually had flood insurance. Now, over 200 people have been reported dead after flooding hit the capital city of Kathmandu. This is in uh, the Dali area. Thousands of homes were damaged and cars were tossed around like toys in the floodwaters. Just like in North Carolina, Nepal has mountainous terrain and heavy rains causing rivers to go into major flood. This led to fast moving rivers spilling over their banks and destroying everything in the path. From, now from too much rain to too little rain, the world's largest river is running low due to a major drought. These major drought conditions, that's the current state of the Amazon as it's dangerously low. The river has shrunk in width due to several uh, feeder rivers experiencing row, record low water uh, levels. Uh, ships have been left stranded and sand is even visible where normally you would have water. Brazil is enduring one of its worst droughts on record at the moment and there is no end in sight uh, to that. That's crazy. It is crazy. Like the Amazon, you think of just humidity and water everywhere and and it's dealing with a drought right now, while other parts of the world are experiencing significant floods. Yeah.